Uh, so next yep. we're going to show the uh, creation of a document skill. And that is, uh, that's the type of skill that's actually going to say, okay, we have this, uh, we know it's an I-129 receipt based on that classification. Now let's go ahead and pick up specific data off of that. Yep. Now that we know what it is, let's focus on it. All right. So similarly, we're uploading a sample so that it knows what it looks like. And automatically, as soon as it comes in, Abby's engine is able to recognize specific data elements. So it's similar to that verification interface we saw earlier. We're simply just clicking on the element we want, it populates it, and then we go ahead and name that field. And once and again, at the end, we can do this for multiple examples. The more standardized a document is, the fewer samples we need. And then once we train it, the AI is going to memorize where these locations are, what kind of information we need, that kind of thing. And then there's also some different settings that we can adjust as well, such as saying that, okay, we expect that this field is always going to be a date. So we'll go ahead and select that. And that helps with our extraction results. We can put in different rules here to say, okay, this is the data we're expecting, which helps with us getting that high level of accuracy for straight through processing, as well as flagging when something, so say there's something on the image that got in the way of it actually seeing the data, it can then know, okay, well, this doesn't meet this rule. So we know to flag it for someone to take a look at it to either correct the, that information or go back to the source and say, I, I can't read this. I need you to send me a new copy. All right, so we've gone ahead and we've completed that training for those fields. Now we're again going to upload a couple more samples just to confirm, okay, is that, is that enough to get us accurate results? So as soon as we upload this, it starts processing. And now we'll take a look. And as you can see, it's gone ahead and it's grabbed those fields that we had trained on the first one. And it is working just fine for the other examples. And similar to the classification, we now know that we can, okay, we can go ahead and process this. So as you can see, talking to the citizen developer, this is something that anyone can do. You don't need a background in development. You don't need a background in technology.